What's up guys? This is Lorenzo. Welcome back to 7th Gear. Uh, if you're new, please like and subscribe. If you're returning, uh, welcome back and I appreciate the view. I have uh, some days off, so I was trying to get some content. The muffler delete video has done actually better than I expected, like I keep saying. Um, I figured I would do some more um, BMW content or buy like an M3 or something. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I, I don't really see myself staying in the BMW family you know, for my next vehicle. But if I were to stay in it, it would be an M3 or an M4. So I have this spoiler and it's more aggressive than what I have on there, to be honest with you. It is in carbon fiber. I can't remember what I paid for it. Um, it obviously was more affordable compared to what I have on there now. And I'm actually really curious to see how well this is gonna hold up in the Texas sun because this is gonna be the third carbon spoiler that I'm gonna put on this car. And I'm about to, I'm about to show you the one I have on there now. And from a distance, it looks great. Unless you watch the car or you're paying attention to all these little angles, you're gonna see every flaw in it, which is pretty annoying. This is basically what I'm gonna put on today. Like I said, I got this off a guy uh, that I follow on Instagram and uh it's in pretty solid condition i don't know how long he had it on his car the weave looks pretty solid i don't know how well you can tell but it's i mean it looks pretty solid another thing i noticed too is that the lacquer is really thick right there i don't know if you can see that but yeah you can kind of see the difference there and how much more it's going to kick up and i'm i'm really curious to see how it's going to fit because um just based on looking at this angle here like mine goes all the way down to this and then curves but this is a lot tighter so it almost looks like it's only going to come to like right here and like just kick up way higher and i'm not again like i said i'm not 100 percent sure what style this is based off of it's more definitely m4 coupe i would imagine just based on looking at it this weave does still look tighter and better than what what i'm putting on it and then it just looks looser like it looks loopier, it doesn't look as tight. This looks a lot tighter and more, uh, more checkered, if that makes any sense. This is actually the second spoiler that I've had on this car. Um, and the same exact thing happened to me on the first one and actually was not as bad. Um, the only problem was that it started to turn yellow. Uh, I guess with the, the clear coat in the sun, it, I don't know what happened, but it started to turn yellow, kind of like this, had like a yellow hue, but it was, it was still shiny, just yellow. So I got this spoiler from RW Carbon. Um, at the time, whenever I got the car, they had li literally just come out. It was a fairly new platform, the 4 Series was. And there literally was nothing on the market that looked good uh, carbon fiber wise. And so I went with RW Carbon and I mean, uh, the style of it was pretty good. The fit was okay. Um, I say that now, uh, but I have yet to see this one. And so I'm a little bit concerned. This actually might be a lot better uh, considering. I got a bunch of rubber stuck on this thing and I have not been able to get it off. If anybody has like a secret tip for a quick removal, I'm pretty sure Claybar would take care of it, but I, it's literally been on there for like a month and it, I don't even know why. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not, well, maybe I do know what I'm doing. Maybe I need to stop that. Again, when I first saw this, this spoiler, I was like, man, that quality's pretty good considering it's an eBay item. The spoiler is from eBay. I don't know the exact link. I don't know how much it is originally. Um, he didn't send me all that information. I just kind of bought it all in a package when he sold his car and parted it out. So I was like, yeah, throw in the spoiler, throw in this, throw in that, and send it to me and we'll see if I like it. And so when I first saw it, I was like, man, it's not bad. I'm gonna put it on there instantly. And after seeing it now, compared to this one, it's not that great. Um, and I'm. You know, I'm just doing this for you guys to see if anybody out there is trying to buy some eBay carbon fiber. You can just see how wavy it is. Um, and it's really hard to pick up on camera, but there's like spots in there uh, that are like way worse. Like right there, over there. I don't know if you can see that, there's like little bubbles. But it looks okay for what it is. In the sun, you're not gonna be able to see it as bad because all you see is the weave and it looks great. The weave looks pretty good in the sun. So the RW Carbon website lists this spoiler right now at like 350 with some sales. You're looking at 300, something like that. And so I think when I when it was new, I paid like 400 for it. So that's a lot for a spoiler. That isn't really. I mean, that's considered to me that was considered cheap, um, but it was pretty good price for the quality. The quality was decent. Now looking at the eBay stuff. 
So I've got some fishing line and I'm gonna try to take this spoiler off. I have no idea how hard it's gonna be because it's been on there for a little bit. So if anybody hasn't done this before, fishing line does work. Um, I do recommend using gloves with it because it does dig into your skin. You might even wanna layer up to be honest with you. Wiggle it through kind of like you're flossing your teeth. what I'm using here if you guys don't know what this is this is a 3m like rubber wheel and it's for uh, basically for molding removal like anything like this or like side molding or anything um, it actually does a really good job at peeling a lot of that stuff off it did a pretty good job I mean it's fairly smooth I'm gonna come in here with some of this, this cleaner here really quickly and try to get it a little smoother this would probably actually be good enough um, you know with a good wipe down for what i'm trying to do it looks so weak man oh my goodness it's hilarious how how weak this looks without anything on there i can't believe i drove it like this when i got it without putting anything on there for like months if you have never used one of those rubber wheel removers before it's funny they told me this at the store and i've, I've used them before but they told me don't stay in the same spot or it's going to burn through your paint i've never had that issue um but if this is the first time you're going to use it and something happens don't be mad at me just definitely be careful because it does get really hot um and you feel it like when the rubber hits your arm it's pretty hot so if you just sit there in the same spot for too long it'll probably eat through your paint um so just kind of make sure you're being smooth with it I had a little bit of trouble with lining lining everything up right uh similar to what i had with the rw carbon one before it just uh you know going from edge to edge making sure things line up and this one's a little bit harder to do because um the other spoiler actually came down to here um so you add more of that lip uh roundness to kind of straighten it up for you this one actually sits above that um so you don't really have as much as much guidance and uh, it's a little bit harder to do but she's on pretty snug um, the overall fit is on a scale of 1 to 10 it's probably a man I want to say like a 6 maybe it's a lot tighter here as far as the overall shape than it is on this side uh, there's a little bit of a gap if you can see that and I tried all I could to get it down and it doesn't want to go down like I said, this is used, it's not new. So there's a couple little imperfections in the finish of it. I don't know how long the guy before me owned it, had it on, but I'm gonna put it to the test now and really figure out if eBay carbon fiber parts are worth it. Um, I do have a lip coming for the front from eBay as well. It's not carbon fiber, but it's uh, something a little less aggressive than what I had. It's gonna just, you know, round off the bottom. And I'm gonna see how that goes. Overall, with the, the lip from RW Carbon, the eyelids, the side skirts, which are still in good condition, and the spoiler, I had probably over $1,000 in carbon, which is not bad considering uh, a Vorsteiner front lip is like two grand and the wing is whatever. Um, I mean, these were even like 500 something dollars from the factory and those are even fading on the corner. So BMW part right there. If you're looking for your, a bargain piece, this is great. I mean, you can't, 
can't do much better. I don't know how long it'll hold up. You can see the waviness like I was talking about right there. Um, there's a really big bubble right there. I don't know if it's a like a run or I don't know what it is, but it's a lot wavier than what I had on there. And I think it's also because it's a lot taller, so you're going to notice more waves in a bigger surface. So it really annoys me because I spent the last three hours, four hours, you know, taking everything off, prepping everything, going to the store, spent a hundred dollars at the store for this video. But I feel like it's going to be helpful for anybody out there who has a BMW or any has, really has anything that wants to put carbon fiber, eBay slash Amazon pieces on there. I was looking on Amazon. There's a couple things on Amazon I want to try out. So I'm really doing this for you guys to kind of get an understanding of how good these parts are. Can we trust them? What's the quality? I mean, I have no idea. This this one might be a fairly decent, you know, decently built piece. The next one you order might not be that way, or it might be better. I, I don't know if the consistency is there with these Chinese eBay parts. Forsyner and you know BMW Performance, all the big names. Of course, you're gonna have way better quality because that's what they do, and that's why they charge what they charge because the fit and finish is phenomenal. Brakes and wheels looking looking clean, looking fresh. Always did a good job on those. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I literally cannot see anything. I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. We'll see how it goes. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for for the fellow uh, BMW owners out there and other car owners out there who are looking for solid pieces at a reasonable price. But I, like I said, at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And I, I'm personally the type of person that will pay a little bit more money to get a better quality product that fits better and that lasts longer because I hate having to go through the hassle of spending three hours taking something off, putting something on, cleaning it, and it not being 100%. I hate that. I haven't redo it. This spoiler could literally last me three or four months and it might be time for a new one. And to have to go through all that again is gonna be really annoying, but that's the car life. If I were to rebuy the spoiler that I took off, I'm gonna probably be in 350 bucks. From what I, I don't, again, I don't remember what I paid for the second hand, but I think probably from what I've seen in the last couple days, I could probably get a spoiler for about $150 to $100 on eBay. And if that's the quality that you get, it's decent. It's not bad for what you pay for. Like I said, you get what you pay for. The molds are going to be off a little bit. The fitment's going to be off a little bit. Um, the quality of the lacquer and the weave is going to be off. But there's a lot of people out there who are trying to, to build something at a budget and they don't have an unlimited spending, which... I didn't have for this car. I want to be honest. This was a daily driver for me when I got it. I was really young. I figured I would do these uh, product slash part reviews for you guys because I've always been one of those people that was like super skeptical about buying eBay parts, Amazon parts. And I feel like now you guys will have a better understanding of what to do and what to expect because I'm being real. I'm being honest. And uh, if, if it was 19 year old me, 18 year old me, what if I had to choose between the RW carbon spoiler that I bought and this one for $100 more, $150 more, I would go with the spoiler I had. But because of the quality, it's a little bit better. Fitment was probably about the same, but I'm just not as confident in this thing than I was in that. And that could just be my bias and my uh, my fear of these eBay parts. So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. I got the, the front lip coming in as well. It's really mild. But I'm really, really considering ordering that other one that I saw. It was a Vore Center inspired lip that was in full carbon. So to see more regular content, follow us at 7th Gear underscore on Instagram. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See ya. No, 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 no.